presentation topic name is analysis of flow into two microstrip patch array antenna using various reading techniques. Uh, these all are my outlines. Introduction. The aim of this study is to analyze a 22 microstrip patch array antenna at an operating frequency of 2.4 gigahertz. The proposed rectangular patch microstrip array antenna is basically a phased array consisting of four elements arranged in a rectangular grid. Three different feeding techniques are being studied. The feeding technique play an important role in impedance matching, which will lead to the maximum power transmission. The characteristic impedance of a transmission line is 50 ohm. By the maximum power transfer theorem, the patch antenna should be fed at a point where the input, input impedance is 50 ohms for the maximum input power. The, these are my literature survey which I refer. 2 into 2, two microstrip patch array antenna using sequential rotational. Uh, the figure the figure shows the topology of a 22 microstrip patch array antenna using sequential feeding. The input port of the SR feed denoted by P1 has the impedance of Z, ZP1 equal to ZF. P2 through, P2 through P5 are the antenna feed in which the power is distributed equally with an incremental phase delay of 90 degree connected to the respective antenna element. The length of L1 to L7 are the quarter wave impedance transform at an operating frequency in which L2, L4 and L6 provide the impedance transmission, transmission, transformation between the junction point of the SR phase feed. And this is the reflection coefficient and 3D polar plot for the sequen sequential rotational field. 2 into 2 microstrip patch antenna using coaxial feeding. The coaxial feeding has been designed and analyzed at a 2.4 gigahertz frequency with an input impedance of 50 ohm using the substrate uh, FR4, which has a dietary constant of 4.4, loss tangent of 0.02, and thickness of 1.6 mm. The microstrip and the microstrip antenna parameters are calculated from the semi-equipped equation at the reference frequency of 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, this is the reflection coefficient and 3D polar plot for uh, co uh, coaxial feeding. Uh, sir, sorry to interrupt, uh, sir, but uh, you are uh, still in first slide, sir. Your slides are not changing. Yes, yes, ma'am. Wait a second. Ma'am, now I mean. Yes. Sir. Now, ma'am, we can see it. Uh, two into two yes, microstrips. Uh, uh, two cross two microstrip. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, the figure shows the uh, two cross uh, two microstrip line feed. This feed is simple and simple as well as to manufacture. This feeding technique is frequently used. It is the only a conductive strip connected straight to the patch edge. It's one of the simplest method to simulate. It's simple model and straightforward to match with the input impedance of 50 ohms and 70 ohms, which may be done by adjusting the insert position. Uh, this is the reflection coefficient and 3D polar plot for microstrip line field. Ma'am, you can see this uh, polar plot and no, coefficient. Sir. No, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Now it is visible. Okay. And 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 this is the compare uh, comparing feeding technique. Uh, this is a, and here is uh, conclusion. Uh, the two into two microstrip patch array antenna using coaxial field, microstrip line field, and sequential rotational field at two point four giga is studied by using HFSH suit software. The analysis parameter of this technique are compared from analysis of three feeding techniques. It is observed that sequential rotation feeding has higher gain and directivity compared to coaxial feeding and line feeding. Good impedance matching has been obtained for coaxial feed technique and maximum bandwidth has been obtained for microstrip line feed. These all are my references. Thank you.